Hello, I am Dr. Sumit Pawar. I am a pediatric neurosurgeon at SRCC Children's Hospital. Today I will be speaking something about spina bifida on the occasion of spina bifida and hydrocephalus day. Spina bifida is basically an ailment in which a child since birth is having a swelling on his back, a tuft of hair, a difficulty in moving his legs, difficulty in urination and this certain complex or these illnesses together is what we call as spina bifida. Typically we come to know that a, a child has spina bifida when the mother comes for a sonography in antenatal period. When we do the anomaly scan and the sonography uh, during the pregnancy, sometimes the sonologist is able to see a swelling on the back and that warns us that the child is going to be born with a spina bifida or a, another term for it is meningomyelocele, lipomeningomyelocele and multiple other things are there. Once the child is born, we have to operate this kid in emergency basis so that there is no rupture of the membranes and there is no leakage of CSF and there is no infection to the brain and the spine. Suppose the skin is intact and in that case we offer to operate this child at 6 to 9 months of age. The child by that time usually has symptom of uh, one of the legs he is not moving appropriately, there is dribbling of urine, uh, not a good stream is coming out is what parents typically tell us, the diaper remains wet always or the cloth remains wet always. In that case we operate the kids at about 6 to 9 months of age and in this case using a microscope we release the nerve roots which are stuck to the skin and this release causes the pressure of the nerves to be released and the child can regain the function that he has lost. There is a serial monitoring that is required to be done, a series of investigations that need to be done so that we can ensure that the nerves remain released throughout the child's growing period. Usually once the kid attains 18 years of age or once the growth is complete, usually these kids don't have symptoms after that. With the latest advances like neuromonitoring, neuronavigation, state-of-the-art Pentero 900 microscope and also endoscopic surgery, we ensure that we can take care of your child's spina bifida and its associated problems very very efficiently and in a team approach. At SRCC Children's Hospital, we have an excellent spina bifida OPD where we can take care of your child's spina bifida and its associated illnesses. Our team consists of a urologist, a orthopedic surgeon, general pediatrician and of course myself, a neurosurgeon and all of us together can ensure that the child attains all his milestones, can ensure that all his uh, basic functions of the spine, of the legs, urination, stool, everything is taken care of and done very well. Thank you so much for listening. Don't worry about spina bifida. Today we have all the equipments and specialists uh, available to take care of your child with spina bifida and we will ensure that they are able to walk freely throughout their life.